Okay, so I'm in my classroom and everything has been moved to the other side of the room. Good morning, you guys. 7.57 in the morning. <sighs> I just finished getting ready for the gym and by getting ready it just means getting dressed and braiding my hair plan on going to my classroom today I don't know if I'll get a lot of things done I don't have like a list of things I want to get accomplished there but I do want to get my math curriculum book as well as my actually just no just my math curriculum and and that's pretty much it because I do want to start planning at least the first month of school I think it'll be really helpful um I've been trying to prep for next school year here and there so let me show you so say hi to my new little friends I bought these from Kohl's um they are just little stuffed animals that go along with these books I already have this one but it's in my classroom I've been trying to get my writing center organized I started doing this last year I didn't save the pictures <laughs> Just because I didn't know how to organize them. I didn't have filing cabinets or anything like that in my old classroom. So um, I'm doing that again. And I'm also putting them a little bit smaller so they can fit in here. I bought these containers from Walmart. They are just a 3x5 container. I like it because it's pretty heavy duty. Easily stackable. So if you open it, I have like August. And then I have the cards that go along with it. So right now I have August and September because those are together. I have October, November, and December. So now some good for the first half of the school year. I am also starting to print some Write the Room Centers. I want to have them done for at least the first half of the school year, but the goal would be for the entire school year. Then after I have those done, I can start working on other things too. I also wanted to change up my color scheme a little bit, but... I keep going back to my same rainbow color scheme, but I think I'm going to change it to a little bit more of a soft pastel rainbow color scheme than a loud, super bright color scheme. Okay, so I'm going to continue printing my right to room things. I'm going to have a box for literacy and a box for math. Also, how cute is this mug? I got it from a student for the end of the year, and I just love it. I also don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea, but I still want to use mugs people give me, so I just kind of drink lemon water out of it. So these write the room things that I'm printing are from DD are from DD Willis on TBT. You can buy it as a bundle, which I didn't do. Wish I would have done that. Or you can buy them individually. And they each come with literacy activities as well as math activities. So that's why I bought it. I didn't buy the bundle because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not. And by the time I realized I liked it, I was too far in to by the bundle. Yeah, I'm just printing them. In order for them to fit in here, I'm shrinking them to 85% instead of 100%. Then I'm also making like little labels to kind of like as dividers in here that are going to tell me what each set is for. And I think I'm going to laminate them at school just because laminator there is so much faster than mine here. So one thing I really like about this is that it comes in both color and also like black line so in case you don't want to print in color you can print like on um, colored paper and it's like still pretty does that make sense i don't know i feel like if you print this on colored paper it kind of looks a little bit weird because of all the shading but it won't with just a black outline okay so i'm in my classroom and everything has been moved to the other side of the room so so what happened is they cleaned the carpet and things broke. I cleaned the carpet, so they moved everything out of the way. Um, I thought it was said that they would move things out of the way, but then put them back where they were, but I guess not. So now I need to remember where I had put things, but yeah. So I think this is how I had it before. I had six tables, and then this one's just off to the side because I don't know if I'll need it. Again, the cap, class is cap at 25, so worst case scenario, like I'm capped out, I can always pull this table and 
make it work. Like maybe have three students here. Obviously, but I don't want this table here. I actually want it on the other side. Right now it's just there because the computer's there. I don't want to touch it. But yeah, that's an overview. I'm gonna go ahead and laminate some things that I was working on at home because like I said, the laminator is a lot faster. And then I'm gonna empty out my rainbow drawers and figure out what I'm gonna store in them. So let's do that. Okay, so I have all of August and September write the room centers done. So I have my literacy up here and my math down here. And this is just how I'm organizing them for now. So I have, these are the labels I made for each activity. And then I just have them paper clipped to the back. So I have the name of the activity, the I can statement for students, um, uh, highlighted right there tells me what skill you're working on. And then at the bottom has the common core standards. We do use Arizona state standards, but very, very similar. So I can always, you know, cross reference. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six for the containers. And then here is math. I have month, I have the months labeled too, but I'm going to go ahead and attach them to like a bright colored index card so I can separate them better. But yes, yeah, so I have all like my labels. It's going to be so much easier to keep track of and I'm really, really excited about this. Okay, so now it's time to empty out those bins and hopefully get some things organized. I wanna do that before I leave. That way I can know if I need to purchase another rainbow cart drawer for more supplies and stuff like that. So let's do that. Assembly in my classroom. I I feel like it didn't get that much done. Um, I did, however, I did, however, finally get the big cabinet, the big metal cabinet open. Um, I wasn't able to pick the lock, but I just kind of unscrewed something and it, it's gonna work. Tomorrow, I'll be able to organize some things in there. I am coming back tomorrow morning because we are interviewing two teacher candidates. Sitting in, I think it's at nine, and the other one's at 11, so I have a like I don't know time in between to get some stuff done so I'm also bringing back this laminating machine to my house just in case I want to laminate things I have two and, they're, and it's faster that way guys so it is Tuesday morning I'm in my classroom I came to school because we are interviewing two teacher candidates today and I thought the first interview was at 9 so it is actually 8 41 I got here at 8 30 and I checked my email and it turns out it's not until 9 30 in between um so I'm gonna go ahead and organize this. I'm gonna try to store like Kleenex and stuff like that in there. And then, and paper, like construction paper, because apparently I have a ton of it that I didn't realize I did. Um, so you see all those boxes there? Pretty much paper. So Alex is gonna be super excited because the principal is sending home these for him, not for me, <laughs> for him. She is an amazing baker, and I've always talk, told Alex, like, she makes this amazing banana, like, chocolate chip muffins that I love, and Alex would always tell me to bring some home for him, but I always felt bad because I felt like there was only enough, like, for staff, like, I didn't want to take one home that was meant for someone else. Sending home, like, three muffins for, for just him, so he's going to be so excited, and I'm excited for him to try it, too. All right, let's get organizing. It is Thursday, and I'm in my classroom. I came back because I left my classroom a huge mess before I left to the Bahamas. And that is spelled wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had that spelled right and now it says Lauren. Anyway, I left it a mess and I want to organize it. I want to organize that cabinet. I want to figure out a way to 
efficient, efficient, uh, efficiently organize my paper because I have lots and lots of paper. So that is what I'm going to try to do today. I also need to make sure I unpack everything because I have no idea where I left my teacher's guide for math. So I need to find that. So let's do that. Okay, so I am organizing that cabinet. I'm trying to fit as many things as I can to just kind of have things out of off of tables and stuff like that. Um, I found two electric pencil sharpeners in this classroom. I already have one that's my own, like I bought it. And obviously I don't need two more, so I gave one to the kindergarten teacher and I'm gonna give one to the new second grade teacher in case she needs one. So I wrote this little note gonna put it on her desk and if she doesn't need it well she can give it away but i mean i don't need to okay so i've been here for about two hours and it seems like i haven't got much done but i have well it turned really dark um so in this cabinet i've stored paper paint whiteboards whiteboards are not going to be in here the whole time obviously once kids are here and learning they'll have their own whiteboard um clipboards Headphones, I don't know if I'm going to keep them there. I know there's like a shoe rack kind of thing that maybe I can store headphones on instead of here so I can clear more space for this little cabinet thing. I mean, I've stored all of that. I've cleaned up. I put my books there. I do have a lot more books than I thought I did, so I need more bins. I'm going to stop at Michael's and Big, Lot, and Big Lots today to see if they have any bins. I know these bins are from Target, from the Target Dollar Spot from the past two years, but I know that they're coming out with um, primary color bins this year and they are see-through, so I don't want those. So we'll see what I can find. They don't have to be the same color because they'll be on this thing right here, so we'll see. Um, I'm, right now, I just want to get on the computer and print some things so I can start prepping for next year. 